Hi, it's me, Ben J. Pierce, and today I'm going to be throwing it way back and reading entries from my diary. I wrote all of these when I was probably like 10 years old, and I had like a 13 going on 30 complex where I thought I was much older. I was like sex in the city, like writing for the public. Nobody cared. I took myself way too seriously, and I'm very nervous to read these because I'm sure they are so melodramatic, and that'll be great for you and awful for me. The last time I probably read this was when I wrote it. That was probably for the best. <laughs> so uh, let's crack into this. <laughs> oh Lord. The date on this one is August 26, 2011. I would have been 12 years old, I guess, at this point. This header is timing, dot, 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 is everything. Starting out on a really dramatic note, great. In an attempt to wake up earlier, I have an alarm set for 9 a.m. every morning. With that said, I wake up at 10.15. <laughs> okay, so already starting off with the jokes. Anyway, today I went to Dallas again to pick up my printed headshots and drop them off at Campbell. Campbell Agency is my agent, by the way. I have my first audition on Monday, okay. Now I remember this. I was literally in my agent's room and they gave us the call that we were going to be going on an audition. I remember being very excited and thinking that it was gonna change my life and uh, well, I'm sure as we get into it, you'll see that that really didn't happen. <laughs> cool, so this one is dated August 29th, 2011. So this is about three days later. So it's titled, And So It Begins. <laughs> what begins, you may be asking? Well, let me explain. As I'm getting ready at the house, I feel a sense of rush. <laughs> The audition won't even be for a few hours, yet I feel like I'm running out of time. The choice of what to eat, what to wear, when to shower, what to do with my hair. At this point in my life, I was probably like running my fingers through my hair and taking like a shower and that was it. I'm acting like I had to like go through hair and makeup. And... No, that was not what happened. I think this audition was for like a regional resort. Like, I don't know what I was preparing. There was no script. I don't know. Maybe I was just meditating, I guess. So I walked into the building and it was surprisingly smaller than I thought. <laughs> Get used to it, Ben. <clears throat> but it was exciting nonetheless. And before my mom could do it for me, I signed my name for the first time. That's kind of cute, actually. Like, just signing my name was exciting. So there I waited with five other boys. They had to pair us up by twos. One boy, one girl each audition. Every time a girl came in, all of us boys pretty much ran to become partners. It was pretty embarrassing. That is pretty embarrassing, Ben. Good job being self-aware about that. But after a while of confusion, I was paired with a girl named McKinsey. I'm not gonna lie, I was very intimidated. <laughs> we were from two different worlds, but we still tried talking to make it easier to do this. I'm treating this like we are like going off to war together. It is literally a five minute audition. This is ridiculous. We started a little improv and we did way better than I expected. Now we wait. Yeah, I didn't ever, um, didn't ever hear from them. I think it's so funny that I said I was intimidated by this girl that like walked into the room. Like if anyone read it, they think I'd have like a crush on her. But like, as I've grown up and realized I'm gay, that was definitely not why I was intimidated. So shout out to Mackenzie. <laughs> so this one is dated June 20th, 2012. So it's definitely been a while at this point. This one starts with holy cow with a period between every syllable in case you didn't catch the emphasis there. It has been six months since I last wrote here. And as much as I'd love to say I was too busy to write, I refuse to lie. That's not true. Again, I was very gay at this time and not writing about it, so contradicting myself a little bit there. I didn't realize till recently how far I've come in the past two years. I am 13 now. I have learned the art of procrastination. How you ask? I'll explain it later. <laughs> Good joke, Ben, we love that. I love to joke that my mother has become a teenager again because honestly, she's more hip than I am. That's actually still true. In response to seeing my hair in the morning, uh-oh. <laughs> you look like that boy from One Direction, except your hair isn't just going One Direction. I actually love that joke and I've definitely stolen it from my mom. So if my mom is watching this, thank you. It's comedy, mom. Get over it. That's that entry. It was a very busy day I had. Reading what I wrote when I was 13 is very cringy. And I think when I was 13, I kind of knew it was gonna be cringy. As you can tell, I had a weird sense of self-awareness, but I never stopped being cringy was the thing. I think back in the day, I just really wanted to be seen as like this like sophisticated 30 year old, like wine ant and like a leopard print like coat. And nowadays I desperately want to seem like a 19 year old like I am. So I think I've actually gone back in age mentally since then. What would my 13 year old self say to me, oh my God, I hope my 13 year old self would think I was like cool and cute, but I feel like I would just be like, ugh, like sidestep myself. What does that say about me? I don't know. I'm gonna write about this tonight and figure out how to process it. <laughs> this made me want to write again. So I could cringe about it later. If you want to hear more diary entries from some of your favorite social stars, be sure to click here. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking here. Bye, guys. <laughs>